Hello, I'm Jeff De La Rosa, Managing Science Editor at Worldbook. Although not as famous as some sauropods, such as Apatosaurus or Diplodocus, Amargosaurus had a distinctive appearance that made it noteworthy to anyone interested in dinosaurs. Amargosaurus was a sauropod dinosaur that lived in what is now South America about 130 million years ago. Like other sauropods, it had a large body and stood on four stout legs with a long tail, a long neck, and a small head. Many sauropods grew to enormous size. In fact, they were the largest land animals that ever lived. But Amargosaurus was relatively small for a sauropod. It reached about 30 feet, or about 10 meters long, and weighed up to two tons. What makes Amargosaurus stand out from other sauropods are two rows of long spines that run down the neck of the animal from the head to the end of the tail. These spines are extensions of the animal's backbones. The largest of the spines are along the neck. Scientists have long wondered, what was the purpose of these spikes? To answer this question, scientists look at living animals that have structures similar to the spines on Amargosaurus. This has led them to several theories as to what these spines look like in life and what function they serve. One theory is that the spines along its back were supports for a fleshy membrane that made up a double sail. Paleontologists cannot tell if there was such a membrane on Amargosaurus, but similar sails are thought to have existed in other prehistoric animals. A sail along the back may have had several different functions. It could have been used to help regulate the dinosaur's body temperature. By turning its huge sail towards the morning sun, for example, Amargosaurus would have been able to warm up quickly, and it could have turned its sail away from the sun to cool off later in the day if it got too hot. Of course, there are other possible explanations for this structure. The spines and sails could have been raised to make the dinosaur appear larger, helping the animal to scare off potential predators. Paleontologists believe dinosaurs could see color just as reptile and birds do, so the fleshy sail may have been brightly colored and used to attract mates. However, paleontologists do not know for sure that Amargosaurus actually had such a sail. It's also possible that the spines along its back protruded like individual quills, more like a porcupine's spiny protection than a sail. Supporters of this theory claim that the fleshy sail could have made the neck, I'm sorry. Supporters of this theory claim that a fleshy sail would have made the neck too rigid to bend, making it difficult for a margosaurus to drink and feed. There is some evidence to suggest the spines were covered with a horn-like covering, which would have made them quite sharp. Such spines could easily intimidate opponents and would have made a fearsome racket when clacking together. Zoologists know that many animals use such noises to communicate, whether to scare off their rivals, to assert dominance, or simply to let others know where they are. The spines could also have been used as weapons for protection from predators. Simply by lowering its neck, a margosaurus could point an array of sharp spines toward the attacker. However, some scientists have raised objections to the theory that a margosaurus had two rows of spines down its neck and back. For example, scientists point out that two rows is an inefficient way to manage body temperature. Okay, whenever you're ready. Supporters of this theory claim that a fleshy sail would have made the neck too rigid to bend, making it difficult for a margosaurus to drink and feed. There is some evidence to suggest the spines were covered with a horn-like covering, which would have made them quite sharp. Such spines could easily intimidate opponents, and would have made a fearsome racket when clacking together. Zoologists know that many animals use such noises to communicate, whether to scare off rivals and assert their dominance, or simply to let others know where they are. The spines could also have been used as weapons for protection from predators. Simply by lowering its neck, a margosaurus could point an array of sharp spines toward an attacker. However, some scientists have raised objections to the theory that a margosaurus had two rows of spines down its neck and back. For example, scientists point out that two rows is an inefficient way to manage body temperature. The spines are different lengths along the back, which makes them of questionable use for defense. Most paleontologists agree that the main purpose of these spines was probably for display, to impress and attract mates, and drive off potential rivals. Similar ornamentation is seen in many living animals. Think of the tail of a peacock or the huge antlers of an elk. Whatever their function in life, the double row of long spines found on a margosaurus make it one of the most unusual sauropod dinosaurs known to science.